Coffee brings us to the subject of newspapers. Newspaper people have always depended on coffee. They could not survive without it. Joy Tipping knows that. She's with the Dallas Morning News. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Good to have I you. I had with. coffee backstage. I can hope so. So you are one of those people who were born and bred in Dallas and, uh, and then moved away for a time. Right. And then came back. Yes. I went away. Uh, I went to a, I did an internship in Washington uh -huh. for about six months. And I came back, and then my husband, uh, not my husband at the time, but he was in Florida. Yes. So I moved to Florida, and uh -huh. then we moved to New Mexico. Yes. And then seven, eight years ago, we moved back. And there, in the midst of the grandeur of New Mexico <laughs> and, 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 and the wealth and fame that were yours for the asking, yes. and there in the midst of romance and, uh, and the beautiful life of the beautiful people, yes. enchantment, Dallas called to you. It did. It did. It called my name, and uh, we our, our kids, my husband's kids, moved back to Missouri, mm -hmm. and we wanted to be closer to them, and I hoped that I could come back to the morning news because I loved it, and uh, it worked out. But more than proximity to Missouri, yes. something spoke to Dallas. you. Dallas. Dallas. Well, I miss Dallas. All my friends were here. Our families were here, and... Mm -hmm. You know, I was never really a big Dallas fan, honestly, growing up. My, I'm the only one in my family that was born in Texas. That's my dirty, dark secret. Um, everybody else is from Oklahoma or Missouri. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, they pricked my thumb and made me a blood oaky when I was a kid. And uh, literally, blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, But, you know, I always felt like Dallas was home. And I wanted to come back. And I, when I came back, I fell in love with it. Um, the arts have exploded here in the last few years. Exploding uh, arts? Exploding to do with arts, what? yes. Yes. You should go to the, you know, at the arts district, we had the, the Wiley Theater explode out of the ground, oh. and the Winspear Opera House, and then just a couple of blocks away, the Clyde Warren Park mm -hmm. exploded or grew. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's been wonderful, and I love being back. And I live downtown now, which, you know, my mother would be shocked because when I was growing up, there was one place to live, that was Manor House, and it was just for old people. Mm -hmm. um, and we, I live and work downtown, which you know, 20 years ago was unheard of. But so. you know people who come to Dallas, and, yes. you, and you've met them, and they have a kind of a sniffy attitude. They kind do, of a they do. Attitude. They think, you know, we went from being the city that shot Kennedy to mm -hmm. being the city that shot JR. And and really neither one of those things is who we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are fun. You know, we have great restaurants. We have great theater. We can walk through Dealey Plaza and, well, maybe not walk through, but you can drive through Dealey Plaza as a Dallas site and not even think about Kennedy. It's not mm -hmm. part of our daily, you know, mm -hmm. obsession. So where do you take people who are, who, who are kind of sniffy about Sniffy. Dallas? Well, I take them to Deep Ellum. Mm -hmm. Deep Ellum is the old uh, historic, yes, lots of great music in Deep Ellum, and it's a historic warehouse district that was really hip in the 80s. Um, uh, Kurt Cobain got arrested for hitting a guy at, during a concert at Trees, mm -hmm. and, um, and then it kind of went away, and now it's come back, and it's full of music and great bars and great little shops. Mm -hmm. And then I take them to Bishop Arts, which is in Oak Cliff. We love Oak Cliff, or I take them to White Rock Lake, mm -hmm. which people don't realize. You know, we have an inner city lake. You have a lake? Yes, a beautiful Why didn't lake. I know this? Yes, a beautiful lake that's, I think it's 13 miles, the circumference that you what? can take a bike. Yes. Are you making up a story? No, now? it's in East Dallas, I promise you. <laughs> the Arboretum, the Dallas Arboretum, which is wonderful. A what? An yes, Arboretum? An Arboretum where we had a huge display of Chihuly art last year outside during hurricane, or not her, during tornado season. I think of Dallas and I think of tall steel and glass buildings with very tight security on the first floor. And we have uh, those too. You have those? Yeah, we try to, you know, not go to them very often unless we work in them. Yes, right. Or we want to see the prairie from the top floors. You can see the prairie. Oh, absolutely. I thought the city went on forever. No. no. You can, you know, you can go up to the top of Reunion Tower, which is open again now as a, a observation deck, and you can really see the Trinity River. We also have a river. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and occasionally like... A navigable river? Every hundred years it floods. You know, there was a plan back in the, I think it was the 60s, to make Dallas an inland port. 
I'm not making this up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't happen. No, no. Because it's really just a It'd trickle. It would be a very different city if it yeah, were. Yeah. Yes. Well, you've almost convinced me. Where, where, where would I think of living if I were downtown? Or well, it would depend uptown, on what you, what you most wanted to interact with. What would you most want to do while you were here in Dallas? I want to live at the State Fair. And well, I want to live here in the Art Deco buildings, there, and I want to sell corn dogs. You could live at the State Fair. We actually um, had a TV show shot here that was called The Good Guys that didn't last very long, but it was a really fun show. And one of the guys lived in a trailer mm -hmm. at the State Fair. This is my dream. Yes. Um, I don't believe they would actually let you do that, mm -hmm. but you know, you could you know, talk to the fair people. You never know. They like you, so. It's on my list for, it's what, late September, early October? It's late, it's always, I think it always starts the last weekend in September, and uh -huh. it runs for three weeks into October. Perfect weather, usually. Someday before I die. Yes. I'm gonna come and You call me and I will fair. buy you a corny dog. Thank you, dear. Yes. Joy Tipping, she likes it. Thank you. She likes it here. Thank you, dear.